Hey guys, Jessica Damo here with another custom Gundam MSA review, and today I'm reviewing my fourth Battlescar GM. This is really exciting because the figure you see before you was not a GM. It was an RX-78 version 1. And, uh, you know, the, the version 1 had some pretty lousy articulation, and uh, it's now been modified to be better than it ever was before, and be turned into a GM, which... You know, if you've ever tried to buy mobile student action figure GMs, they can be a bit tough to get. This was beautifully battle scarred and painted by Joshua Cerna. And we have two different shields here. This uh, looks like it might have been an original battle scarred shield. No, 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 it wasn't. Just a shield here. Wonderfully battle scarred. Let's see the there. The shield is. Hacked and slashed and shot to death. It fits the 1.5. I've got three more Battle Scar GMs that are uh, going to be 1.5. Some of the GMs I had Battle Scar were scrap GMs, and uh, several of them were RX 78 version 1s. And by scrap, I mean they were discolored, they were incomplete, they didn't have heads, most of them. Uh, it's just years of uh, selling figures, selling them complete and stuff. So this guy has a foot missing here, the leg's been destroyed. I cut down the knees to make them look like a GM's knees. See this foot's destroyed too. See the back legs of the figure. See the version 1 back of the torso there. I wanted to leave that little piece for sticking the bazooka in. The torso was cut down to look more like an RX, more like a GM. Love the giant hole shot into this guy. It just looks like, oh, you know, got hit with a bazooka. And <laughs> weapon effects would go really well with this guy. I'll include some of those in the next review. This arm has been cut off or blown off. The shoulders. This one's bent. These are Burning Gundam arms, in case you haven't seen any of the previous reviews for this guy. Burning Gundam arms fit in fit on a lot better, and they don't fall off as easy as the GM or RX-78 version 1 arms. You also get some various hand poses. This one uh, isn't staying on as well as they usually do. You have to cut down the shoulders, and I might have cut off too much. Because these were being battle scarred, I did not cut them down with finesse. But, uh, yeah. Also, the little pegs that are on those ball joints are still there. Usually, I remove those just to make it smoother. This is an RX-78 version 1 backpack. I just cut off the extra hilt. Glued in the thrusters. The head is a resin cast by Joshua Cerna. And painted. And uh, used a bit of a hot glue technique to keep it in. The neck peg is from the Burning Gundam. Burning Gundam. Always willing to donate scraps. Thanks, Burning Gundam. You can see this guy just up close. Lots of damage in there. Beautiful. The idea is that these guys can just be popped in to animation. If I want, I can swap out a leg with another battle scarred GM and have him standing. So I'll just show that here. Pop that one on there. So that's the beauty of it. And with these cool, you know, little hand poses and things. Yep, that arm was just cut down wrong. But, uh, you can just kind of lay the GM there. It makes for the perfect stand-in when there's an actual battle or something going on, you know. Kind of could... GM's just there, destroyed in the background. Very, very cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure to like, favor, and subscribe as I post a new video just about every other day. And uh, check out my eBay store. There's a link down below in the more info area. And I put random stuff there sometimes. Sometimes customs. And uh, let me know what you think of this guy. This is the fourth so far. And uh, I've been in review number five. And others are being made right now. Very excited. See you guys later.